what's going on, Gemini? This is Jen catching you on DTWJ. Life, delivering the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God us and God, how you doing? <laughs> yes. Instead of uh, doing general readings in, like, say, the beginning of every astrological season, like, um, you know, anybody typically would, I'm waiting for the energy to really come to a head um, so that I can get out the most um, and yes, I am absolutely feeling it, but before I get into really shuffling my cards, I want to figure out what the intuitive messages are right now, um, and just so you guys know, a little, you know, housekeeping here, so to speak, I don't direct any of my readings toward one person, specifically, I go with the collective energy that I'm picking up, okay, <laughs> like, <coughs> um, yeah, just saying. So if this doesn't resonate at all whatsoever, feel free to book a session with me. Uh, my consultation hours are going to be posted after this video, okay? So let me just take a second, a few minutes, find out what's good with you. Some of you are moving. Definitely getting that. Like, right now, some of you are. Some of you are shifting. I don't know if that's like shape shifting, energy shifting, or shifting your role at work or at home, but in some form you are shifting. You're doing it because you want to be uncomfortable again. Like, you miss it. You miss being uncomfortable. Yeah. Either way, moves are totally happening. Um, whether you're actually moving right now, or you're shifting in a way. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm having chai tea. Mm. Made it myself, it's freaking delicious. Anything else, anything else, anything else? I don't know. I see a twig snapping. Or like a wishbone from a turkey snapping. Like, just the act of taking something and snapping it in half. That can mean a lot of things. Maybe, um, it's a thing of separating your emotions from your intellect. It is Aquarius season, guys. And Aquarius, Aquarian energy is all about uh, inventiveness, um, innovation, which, okay, that explains the shifting thing. Yeah, so, like, the need to separate your emotions from your intellect is very paramount right now. Not just during the season, but as, like, a life lesson. Because there's something that you're either dealing with right now or that's going to come to you during Aquarius season that's going to teach you why it's so important to separate your emotions from your intellect and exactly when to do it. Because I know that no human being can live their, their entire lives with all that separate at all times, everything in good balance. Um, that would never work out, but you're going to learn exactly when to do it, if that makes any sense. Okay. All right, that's it, I think. You know, for the intuitive messages, that's all I'm getting right now. I'm so glad that I cleansed my deck. I cleansed myself and the chai tea is helping. Like, all the ingredients in there, they're helping. Quite a bit. They really are. Yeah, I love making my own stuff versus going out to restaurants and whatnot. I mean, I love restaurants, yes, but, you know, because I'm cancer, so I like to, you know, indulge in food and beverages and things like that, but, um, I don't always have the money to be going out with, so... <laughs> so you know, um, what do you call it, uh, is poverty creates creativity or is like a segue to creativity, if you will, um, even if you're not impoverished, necessarily. It's like not having a certain resource at a specific moment teaches you how to create that resource in either the same way or a different way. I know you guys know a lot about doing that. Like, you're so used to, you know, transmuting 
I know you guys know how to do that. <laughs> I'm learning right now, again. <laughs> so yes, I do appreciate your energy very much. Uh, first upright. You're seeing your self-worth right now. And the reason why. The reason why you see your self-worth. You're seeing your self-worth and the reasons why right now, which is why you're doing what you're doing. And it's also happening suddenly because you have Pluto here. So yeah, there are some of you who are going to be moving right away. Absolutely. This has to do with material wealth, a home, okay, a new place to live. And that's worth celebrating. I think that's quite beautiful. Just don't celebrate before you cross the finish line, okay? <laughs> Careful. <laughs> You know, some of you might have a mortgage to have to pay off now. So be careful, okay? What else? What else do I have? Yeah, it's, it's just stopping at this every time that I'm shuffling, so... I guess we'll continue. It's, I, it's really that simple. Like, that's the only main message or, like, uh, preliminary message my cards want to give you. Uh-huh. Wow, uh, it's heavy. Dude, I get it. Okay. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to draw a third on that. Hell no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> mm. Okay. That's fine. Two clarifiers for the conclusion. Why are things in my way? All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'll understand, I guess. I'll understand better when I go through these. <sighs> Weird. Anyway. Hold on. Okay. The first card that you have in your present as this as the Aquarius season comes to a head, clay inverted, you're done with working on something. That could be anything, okay? Like you've totally lost your freaking patience with it or that person, okay? It could be a friend. It could be a business partner, it could be an associate, whatever. Okay? It doesn't have to always be your significant other. Keep your mind open here, okay? Separate the emotions from the mind. That's another reason why, because you tend to get into like this tunnel vision and you don't need to be there. You're tired of working on something because it's not growing. <clears throat> In the present, if you decide to shift or move, this is going to happen. You're going to be, be reaping harvests out of the situation. Number six, the number of spirit, is here guiding you to do just that. What's happening alongside with that? Spirit is telling you to use your intellect when deciding this, every step of it. Use your intellect and not your emotions. The reason why is because what's coming up in your near future, that's the crap fest I'm looking at and I'm just kind of like, no, why? But now I know why. I understand. I get it. Mm. Yeah, stay 
in your head in a healthy way to where you're problem solving, creating, uh, inventing, or innovating. Like, keep that kind of mindset about you because that's what Aquarius season offers you and affords you because of this. In the near future, there's lack of peace and less, lack of justice either with a situation, a person, a place, a thing, a noun. Any noun that you want to pick, it's, it's not helping you. Um, it's going to resurface, though, in the near future to kind of test you, though, to see if you have actually separated your uh, intellect from your emotions. The reason why it wants to resurface, it doesn't want you to plant your seeds. It wants to stop you from planting your seeds. It also wants you to stop you from embarking on any creative endeavors or continuing on with your creative endeavors. It also wants to stop your luck from avalanching in. This is a very bad stagnant energy and it is tied to a person, place, thing, situation that you are finished working on. Makes sense, right? Okay. Now I'm feeling a little bit calmer about it. I'm not as upset. I was like, why? <laughs> like, I was getting pissed a little bit looking at that. Mm -hmm. There's a specific noun in your life that is trying to uh, manifest itself. And manifest itself so large that it makes these things happen to you. It's very negative, okay? So amp up your protection, okay? Your conclusion. The beacon. I love it. There's a new type of discipline that's going to be setting in that has everything to do with your creativity, your passion, but it also has to do with how you're innovating. Mm. Your innovative approaches to shifting, to being the mutable being that you are. Um, more innovative ways, more innovative solutions when it comes to moving. It doesn't always have to be that big house, right? It could be anything. Anything that you want, play with the idea, okay? It could be anything that you want. Keep that in mind. What's beautiful about this? Your conclusion? Your faith is totally unshaken. And you have a very solid sense of direction without question. So do not question this. Do not question what's happening here. Go with it. Flow with it. Allow it to sink in here, but not here. Because if it sinks in here, it's going to stop you. Let it sink in here, okay? In order to make your future happen, or the now happen, you're going to have to do a little bit of digging. Messages aren't going to come to you so easily. So you might have to do some research or investigation or investigative work of some type to find out about this. And to learn from this. Because it is going to come up again. Even if you don't want it to. I don't want it to either. I think it sucks. But it, it is going to come up again. And you're going to have to thwart that thing. Like seriously. With all of your might that you can muster up. That's right. Yeah, you got to do that. Gemini, I just want to say right now before any of this happens or while it's happening. I'm very proud of you. For stepping up for making that happen because just by doing that just by helping yourself and becoming a stronger version a better version of yourself through learning through this you're helping other people just by learning think about that you guys are very beautiful thank you so much for watching for tuning in for subscribing for hitting that notification bell and if at all this did not resonate Get in contact with me for a personal reading. My consultation hours are going up in a minute.
recipe.